Fred Webb's in charge, and you have to go back 41 years for the last time Fulham beat Manchester United in a home league fixture. Way back in September 1964, when the great Johnny Haynes scored here in a 2-1 win. Headed by Ferdinand for Smith. And Rooney taking up a central position, first off. This is Giggs. It's, uh, headed away by Bocanegra. This is Fletcher for Manchester United. Rooney. O'Shea. Well, Gary Lineker won't thank me for reminding everybody, but Mark Crossley's been around a long time. He saved a penalty in the 1991 FA Cup final. There's Collins, John. Oh, and again, chance for Fulham, and they've scored! What a start, and it's Collins, John, brought back into the starting lineup today, justifies Chris Coleman's selection inside two minutes. And Manchester United, and particularly Rio Ferdinand, were all over the place there. Watch uh, the England centre-back Ferdinand here. It's uh, he who blocks the first effort, then miss kicks, it seems. And Collins, John, doesn't need to be us twice, and Edwin van der Sar concedes his first away goal of the season on the ground where he used to play. Well, that wasn't a good moment for Rio Ferdinand, being watched here by Tord Grip, Sven Joran Eriksson's assistant, bearing in mind there are two out of three for the England centre-back positions. He appealed for hands, I think, there. And here's Collins John again, and he's got behind Sylvester this time. And Kieran Richardson had to cover. Well, that was John's first goal since he scored last April against Everton. And he's forced a corner here for Fulham, which Klaus Jensen over on the left will take. Gomar is forward. Buba drop is dangerous here. And in fact, it was he who was leaning in. Papa Buba drop who scored a magnificent goal here against United last season. A late equaliser. This is Van Nistelrooy's onside. And three others up with him in this Manchester United attack. Ryan Giggs away on the left here. Inside vaults, there's Rooney! Keeps it in. Oh, and now Richardson. Goalkeeper's coming there, Crossley, and Smith will hit it. Goal kick. It was first Giggs who played it in first time. Rooney actually got it away from Crossley, tried to pull it back. That's all he could do, really, from that position. Park. Good turn. And again, they've got four players pushed well up United. It's Park on his own at the moment, and he's going all the way, the Korean. Penalty. Howard Webb had no doubts. It's a great run, to be fair, to the uh, the Korean from uh, Eindhoven. He, he goes right through, and Moritz Voltz just nudges him with the shoulder. And Ruud van Nistelrooy... Eight goals in six starts against Fulham, a hat-trick against them in the past. Has a chance to improve that record against a goalkeeper who wants save one in a cup final. Oh, he just got it in! Crossley went the right way and wasn't far off it. But Van Nistelrooy has equalised for Manchester United. That's his eighth goal of the season. And he tucks it away to wipe out Fulham's early lead. Mark Crossley here, goes off, just got underneath his left hand. One each, and the start of what looks like a cracking game here at Craven Cottage. Smith. Giggs. Park. Oh, it's Rooney, and Rooney's through for United, and it's 2-1. They've scored twice in two minutes, and it's Wayne Rooney. He escaped the notice of the Fulham defenders, and he was onside, and in that position, an unerring finish. It's Fulham 1, Manchester United 2. We've only been playing 18 minutes. Well, he is suspended, of course, from the first of the two England games against Austria, but uh, 
Todd Britt will no doubt report back to Ericsson that Rooney looks in good shape and clearly the intention is to play him in the second game against Poland. Bubar job to uh, Nicholas Jensen. Boa Morte. Well, he turned O'Shea there. And he's turned Fletcher as well, and Fletcher is going to surely get a card here. That's a bookable offence on uh, Boa Morte. He'd already beaten one player, uh, which was O'Shea. And then as he came inside, Fletcher just took him out. Blatant. Klaus Jensen takes it. Oh, Ferdinand was stretching and it's gone straight in. And van der Sar looks to Ferdinand and can't believe what happened. Klaus Jensen. Full of them equalised. 27 minutes gone and what is going on back there in the Manchester United defence? He's surely curling this in for somebody else, isn't he? Where's it going? Well, it's going right in the back of the net. 2-2 Two -two at Craven Cottage. And they're standing and watching. No, nobody's touched it, have they? It's Jensen's goal. On by McBride. John. Little nudge to Malbronk. Beaten out by Van der Sar. Steve, they chant, the Fulham fans, as he gets the ball again. Now Jensen. Klaus Jensen. What <laughs> the dazzling run. And uh, finally it's kicked away by Park Distal. Well, this is a quite amazing first half. That's uh, Collins John in there again. Malbrook strikes it, and it was too hot for Van der Sar to catch. Here's uh, Richardson. To Giggs. Oh, good stuff from Ryan Giggs. Oh, he's still there. Can he finish? Oh, Van Nistelrooy nearly did. And right in the six-yard box, Bocanegra made a miraculous clearance. Giggs is clearly here in a great position, earned purely by himself. Crossley comes to meet him. There it goes. And woof, that was a risky one, but well done. And the flick on nearly favours uh, United again. It's Giggs, it's Sylvest. Anything could happen here. And it's poked away by Brian McBride. This is Rooney coming up to half time. Oh, and Park is away. Goalkeeper's committed himself. Van Nistelrooy. And it's 3 2. Manchester United right on half time. And Park celebrates he made it possible it was the easiest of goals for van nistelrooy and fulham was spread eagle i've not seen a first half like this in the premiership for a long long time it's so open you would not believe it now is there somebody offside here well clearly there is but at that moment in time he wasn't interfering now there is a question mark here parked it ever so well van nistelrooy tucks it in was van nistelrooy offside earlier in the move if so, when does he become active? It's complicated, but the score is it's Fulham 2, Manchester United 3, and Van Nistelrooy has got two of them. Just want to see at half-time if any of the Fulham people go up to Howard Webb. Now, when it's played, Van Nistelrooy is walking back from an offside position, but he then gets involved in the move. Now, there has to be some debate about that third goal, and the Fulham players, that I thought, one or two of them are going up to Howard Webb, Klaus Jensen, Bubar Jop, Chris Coleman hasn't actually joined them, but there are Fulham protests, I think, about Van Nistelrooy's position when the move started. It's Fulham 2, Manchester United 3. We've had a bit of feedback from Howard Webb about the third Manchester United goal. He says that when Van Nistelrooy was in an offside position, he wasn't interfering, that's true. But he did become active later in the move. Don't ask me to uh, sort out the current interpretation of offside. I don't think anybody's quite sure. Here's Bubar Jock. Oh, he's fired one like he did last year. At the same end as well. Fulham fans didn't see a better goal than the one he scored here against Manchester United last season. Made it 1-1 on the night. And he nearly made it 3-3 here. Drifting away, though.
Forward ball by Bardsley, flicked on by Rooney, this is Giggs. Van Nistelrooy is far side, trying to just shake off a defender now. Has he done so? Has Park done so? No, neither can get to it. Well, United have come mighty close to number four, but Fulham are hanging on and perhaps still in with a shout. Bardsley to Park. That was really good from Rooney. Park again. Scholes is in the penalty area here. Manchester United still with their noses in front. And they've had the better of the second half as well. John O'Shea first. Oh, appeals for handball there as... Uh, Ronaldo struck that. But in the meantime, Mal Gronk is leading a charge for Fulham. He's got very little support at the moment. Scholes is after him. But he's worked a position there for Klaus Jensen. Good knockoff. Radzinski coming inside Smith. Radzinski. Oh, and Helgeson! What a chance at the far post for Fulham. Will they get a better one now? I doubt it. It was a good move, probably Fulham's best move of the half. Radzinski's cross and, well, just didn't manage to get that on target.